Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Deus Ex Human Revolution. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today in a, a place full of secrets. And also, people who are unconscious, they're the men in black, and uh, they're gonna be... They're gonna be unconscious for a little while longer. The cops didn't hear anything because uh, there was no shooting. I wonder what would have happened if I started firing. Uh, they did start firing at me in one of the... M well, I'm not sure how many failed attempts there were. Look at that! You can see... Oh! You can see the... That's not what I mean to do. Any of this. But I will do it. Right there. Shot him right in the spine, which is, as we know, the best place to shoot somebody. In in many... Well, actually, well, with a tranquilizer, that is. <laughs> I was, it's, it depends on, on things, on what you want to do to the people. Uh, so we read all this, and we are ready to leave, because we have a mission. And I am also a little bit... Surprised... About where we are. Because I don't remember being here. Maybe I was? But let's go... Hmm. Should I? I shouldn't. Let's not do this. I was... Yeah, I just don't remember being here at all. In this, uh, in this alley, that is. Not necessarily down here. Down here, I definitely remember. Because it all looks the same, so for me, I remember. But in this alley? Not so much. Yeah. Oh, I know. I know where we are. Oh, they opened this. That's why I don't remember. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I do know that we have a mission, a side mission, and a main mission. But the side mission is the main mission for many reasons. Not only because that's how you play, but also because it is the, the most pressing Mr. all the traps. There are no more coming to this station. But how am I supposed to get home? The best thing to do is get outside the downtown area and catch a tram there. But it's dangerous out there. The rioters are breaking windows and looting. Can you at least tell us what lines are operating so we know what station to go to? I'll try to find out for you. Yeah, it's the main mystery. It's what we're dealing with. And it's actually around here, which they is... They tripped me from behind and stripped me of my purse. Were there any witnesses? Yeah, but they refused to stick around to wait for you guys. They were scared for their safety. Maybe if you had come sooner. I'm sorry, ma'am, but most of the squad has been assigned to subdue the rioters. It seems like all I'm hearing from police these days are sorry. Do you have anything else to report, ma'am? No, thank you. I'm fine. I'm gonna wait for my sister to come pick me up. Meanwhile, I'll lament about the end of the civilized world as we know it. You act as if the police ever solve any crimes anyway. And also, apparently, they're they're sorry. Are we in Canada? No, I don't know. Because it's, you know, Ubisoft Montreal. And it, either way. No jo no need for those jokes. Oh, we're back over here. Yeah, the police overreacted. Yeah. As soon as that one guy threw the rock, the cops broke their perimeter and charged in. Why didn't they just send a couple of guys to kill in the car instead of plowing through the crowd? That's what I was thinking. It just made the situation worse. Oh, look at your dystopia being less dystopic than real life. You mean the cops weren't in, sent in the middle of the riots actually being the ones doing the violence? Or didn't just start the violence without unprovoked to in peaceful protesters? Actually, these are, not clear these are clearly not peaceful protesters. But maybe they were before. I don't know. If I had a cops going at me when I was just sitting down or something, I'd probably be, would be upset with, with life. I also don't know where we're going, so bear with me as I navigate this whole place. But yeah, it's uh, it's 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 endearing. It's not endearing. I, I I need to say that it is endearing. I need to see it as endearing. Otherwise, it, I I will ramble more. And I have rambled enough. I will I will ramble more. But mm, this is where we need to go. Oh, it's back up there, or is this a different? Ah, uh, also that that background scream. I don't know that you hear, heard it, but I heard it. It is a stock sound for background screams in the background, <laughs> as stock as it gets. Wait, is it through here? I think it is. We've been up here, right? Yeah. Yeah, I remember. And we've been in here as well. These... these... I wish they, they looked differently. You know, the walls, they could paint them differently, but... Just to make it... Easier to navigate. It doesn't actually make much 
in-game sense. No, we have not been in here. I missed this bit. Never too late to get money that I have no need for. Never. Oh, I like this particular map. We've seen one of these like this before. One of these like this. I'm very good at English, don't worry. Okay, we should be fine. Access granted. We were. Almost not fine. I had my I always have my uh, finger on the on the space bar. So you know, always ready for a stop. Little bit of money that we as I said, we have no need for. Break all the boxes. Not that they have anything. No, not like that. Don't need to break the boxes, boxes like that. Besides, I don't think they would. It's Bikus. When is it ever not? I kind of wish they had another station. Because the... I don't know. You really grow to not like the... The television sets. Because they say the same thing, the same thing over and over again. But also because the... Because they, they, they're loud. On view, Wednesday nights, essential viewing on hollow, flat screen, and... St flat screen? What? What? And streaming media. What do you mean, flat screen? What is this, 2004? <laughs> anyway, uh, Pika's News Network, the global report with Eliza Kassan, Kassan interviews Cyber Olympian Sandra Pappenhaus, and Elder Rocker Joko. And I think rocker here means, like, a person who plays rock. What is this, 1980? Channel uh, 120, Heroes on Call, on Call, episode 212. The conclusion of this two-part episode finds Todd and his Bell Tower team trapped in the orphanage by a UN hit squad. Yeah, it's very important that in the world of Deus Ex, the UN actually has um, military power and is like a sovereign nation. It's very important, actually, to the lore. But, yeah. Hmm. Dig direct... Clean streets. Hapless detective Jack Clean forces his partner to masquerade as his wife when Susan divorces him with hilarious results. I'm sure. Very hilarious. Uh, Pika Sports 3 National Enhanced Hockey League cover coverage of Paris Towers versus Seattle Hammers game. Overwatch or World Watch 1 HD. HD, how dear. Although that is 2012, yes. Um, holy... No, Hollywood and Vine. Holly discovers she's pregnant. Envision, Envision Extra, the Panchea Project, Cinevid, Swords of Soulban, Fantasy Adventure 2014, rated PG. Uh, M3V, Niashia Akim, the Still Skin Tour, live concert from Mombasa, Pika Sports 5, Augmented Combat Challenge 2026 World Championship highlights of last year's competition. I was going to say, 2026 is not this year. Nope. It's just highlights. It's good. Seeing highlights of, of like, year-long series, it's always fun. I like doing that. Especially on things that I care about, mind you. So, very easy hacking. A big map, though. But I'll just get that ready to, to hack if I need to. We've got a little bit of clearance here. And that's that. We might actually be able to ha get that one. Not that it matters. No, we don't. We can't because that thing is an arrow. Access granted. And then we have finally hooked up. Hey, B. This is from your big brother. So you finally moved in, huh? They broke any of your stuff? Just let me know when they hook up your internet. I'll come and give you a hand with everything. Take care. Yeah. Well, I think the internet is hook hooked up already because otherwise I wouldn't be able to receive email. Or maybe I would. And, okay, nothing here. Chocolate, very important. The most important, as we well know. What is that? It's just a faucet. Okay. So this, this is, yeah, this this place is still, they're still moving in. Ikea furniture, though, so good for them. And that's where we need to go. But that's not where we're going. We know that, right? Because if we didn't come upstairs... Then it didn't go downstairs. Oh, this is a different area. You wait for them to save you, I promise you. Oh, yeah, it's that, that guy. Ooh. This is a cool area. Oh, lies. Wait a minute. We can see the... They painted all the things. They they went through the trouble of painting. Hello, my name is Lies. Uh, it's, kind of, it's kind of funny. Fight the power. And... Uh, yeah, it's what I'm saying. They use the, the, their their language is all mixed up with their actual 
things and the, the, the narrative of the game is counter to the language it uses. And when I say language, I mean like uh, when I, the, the sort of, what's the word? Thematic language rather than rather than the actual thing. It's the, it's a punk it's a punk saying, uh, "Oh yeah, listen to the man." You know what I mean? The language there is the punk, and obviously the writing, the text itself is "listen to the man." So the punk is saying, "Listen to the man," as in fight fight the man or don't listen to the man, which is what a punk does. But so it, it, but it's not it's not in this game. It's not done in a way that perverts uh, perverts expectations. Or subverts expectations, rather. It's it's just done in a way that uh, it's like it's like gratuitous. Uh, oh, the word appropriation doesn't apply here, but it's like it's it's weird. It's it's weird. It's weird. It's like it's weird. It's just weird. Okay, I, I can't open that. Oh, I didn't realize people were um alive. Excuse me, let me just check what's behind your fridge. You know how it goes. Uh, Michelle Walters. I'll talk to you in a little bit. Let me just go and check your room, because you know how it goes. Okay. Very barren room. But that's normal. Because, you know, you can't ask too much of the graphical engine. Excuse me. Did I leave my door open? Wait. You're not from Rolling Mills. You're too handsome to be from Rolling Mills. No, I'm not. Mrs. Michelle Walters, is it? My name's Adam Jensen. <laughs> no, no. You much too old to be him. You must be from Rolling Mills. And please, it's Miss Walters. Brent Radford sent me. Do you remember him? He's a detective. Yes. And a piece of shit as well. Lovely gentleman. No. He still has my photos of Adam when he was a baby. Oh, could you be a dear and fetch them for me? I forgot who has them, though. Are these the photographs? Oh, yes, yes. Thank you. I, I haven't seen Adam Jensen in such a long time. Forever, it seems. Such a happy baby. Okay, so first off, it's it's I, I realize there is a need for her to establish the connection here, the unsaid truth behind the dialogue here. Nobody would say, you know, if you come up to me and you tell me, oh, my name is... I don't know. I, well, I would have to name somebody... Um, somebody who I know, obviously. Uh, so let's think... Let's think... Let's, it's because, you know, something that's, I don't know. Um, let's say, let's say you're the president of the United States, right? Because, you know, we're trying to, we're trying to establish a, a common time frame here. Somebody comes up to you, a kid, like, yeah, it doesn't have to be a kid, like somebody in their 30s or 17s, like Jensen over here. I have no idea. Uh, he acts like he's 17, so maybe. Uh, the... Yeah, somebody in their 17s, and he goes up to them, Oh, my name is George Bush. And you don't say, Oh, no, you're not. You're too young to be him. Or, in this case, that well, the, the, this one has... What she said specifically has implications from the storyline, so we wouldn't say that. But you wouldn't say, Oh, no, you're not. You would say, Oh, right, like the president. And she would say, Oh, I knew an Adam Jensen once. Adam Jensen isn't a unique name, is what I'm saying. Isn't a particularly unique name, at least... Well, maybe it is. I don't know. I don't I don't know American names very well. The point is that's the unsaid truth. The other thing here is I don't know what the other thing here is cuz I had two rambles, but that's fine. Let's inquire. I'm looking for Let's see what I what happened. Miss Walters, can you tell me about the boy in those photos? The boy in those photos. Adam. Tragic really what happened to his parents. His real parents. His real parents? They died in that fire. Horrible, really. I was there. At least those other cribs were empty. I only had to save Adam. Mrs. Walters, I really need you to focus. What are you talking about? Why, I already told that nice detective all this already. About the experiments and the fire at White Helix Labs. We knew Adam was special. 
That's why his parents started the fire. So they didn't do the same thing to the next batch of babies. So my Adam's real parents were trying to protect him. But from what? Why? From the conspiracy, of course. But I've said too much. Would you be a dear now and go fetch my dinner? Oh, that's the other thing that, um, that's the other thing that, uh, that is weird. Is they didn't change Adam Jensen's name, which is like a trope in, uh, in, in, it's, it's, I don't particularly like the trope. But it's so so common for narratives like this to be like, aha, Adam Jensen isn't your real name, and you just saying that, which isn't, you know, that's that's how they say it. They should say it's it, it isn't your birth name because that's how names work. They're your real name if that is the name you go by. They don't necessarily have to be your birth your birth name to be your real name. The point is, just saying Adam Jensen isn't your birth name says everything. Like that's why it's a common trope to use that me mechanism but he but here they didn't change his name why didn't they change his name especially because there's people who know about stuff either way i am no dinner for you ma'am uh i bet you're terrible as well because you like the other motherfucker so let's see what i can do here uh actually i don't know what she's like hmm i i think I, uh, the only thing i saw is a beta but i don't think i, I saw anything else Miss Walters, please. I know it was a while ago, and remembering all the details might be hard, but do you think you can try and focus for a minute? What did you tell the detective? Well, Mr. Radford and I spoke about many, many things. But don't you have meals to deliver? And where is my dinner? It's a little bit of... Did I see that? Let's see. Miss Walters, please. I know it was a while ago, and remembering all the... Well... Yeah. <laughs> no, no, okay. I'm gonna go with the... A beta there. So let's see. There it is. We got a charm. I would love to hear more about the boy in those photographs. Such a polite and handsome young man. It'll be my pleasure. The boy in the photo, Adam. Jensen was never really his last name, you know. We only gave that to him after the fire. Fire? At White Helix Lab. That's where Adam's real parents were. At least I think they were his parents. All those babies, the gene therapy they went through. But Adam, oh, Adam was special. Special? How? He survived what they did to those babies. He was one of a kind. Then, when we heard they were going to use him to inoculate the next batch of infants... Wait, what were they doing to the babies? I wish I could remember. I was just part of a nursing staff. But Adam's parents, they started the fire. Yes, I remember that. They asked me to hide Adam. Then they started to fire. Poor things. They never got out in time. So they started a fire at White Helix Labs. And you hid me. No, not you, dear. Adam Jensen. Or at least I think that was his name. Well, I gave him to the Jensens to raise. They were a lovely couple. Miss Walters, my Adam's real parents. Who were they? I'm sorry. What were we talking about? Oh, when are them Ronan Mills people gonna get here with my dinner? Miss Walters, please. I know. Well. Yeah. Thank you for your time, Miss Walters. Oh, before I forget, if you see Adam, could you please give him this? It's for all the birthdays and Christmases I've missed. I've been saving them. Mm. Hmm. Oh. Make sure he gets it. Thank you, dear. Why, he must be 12 or 13 by now. Make sure he gets something nice. 200 credits. Okay. Huh. 
That's kind of an interesting choice right there. Because obviously it is Adam Jensen that's getting that. It's really weird that she's like, oh no, it's not his real name, but it isn't his. It's the, whatever. The, why, why go through such convolution, convoluted things to get to Richard, a name? I need you to assign a temporary security detail to an apartment on Brooklyn Court until I can figure out a more permanent solution. The woman's name is Walters. Michelle Walters. Security detail? What the hell, Jensen? Who is this woman? She's... family. But she's vulnerable. I'll explain later. Just do this for me, please. And not a word to Seraph. Can I trust you on this, Pritchard? Christ, Jensen. All right, all right. I'll do it. But there better be a damn good reason for this. There is. I'll fill you in next time I see you. But right now I need to get back to work. And Pritchard, thanks. Yeah, yeah. No, he's still a piece of shit. No, he's bad. We don't like him. Um, Pritchard, that is. But, um, yeah, she probably needs, actually, medical attention. As in, you know, somebody to look after her, because she's... Uh, yeah, she was... She's she's suffering from memory loss and whatnot. Potentially... Wait a minute. Didn't they mention something about her disease? I was going to say potentially Alzheimer's, but... I don't know. Actually, now that I think about it, they could have done something similar to Alzheimer's for the the whole made-up disease from the augmentations. Because the augmentations, they, they create this disease that you have to take a medicine for. They could have just made it into a disease that people know. That would be more relatable and also more immediate, I think. And easy to remember, you know, when, when you're trying to... When you're trying to be like, what are these people protesting about again? Even though it is simple as potatoes, it's just really, really simple. But still, either way, it doesn't matter. We got a praxis point. We are, we have a mission. So, do I wait for my praxis point? Or, do I go up on my recharge rate? No, wait, did I get, oh, I got recharge, recharge rate. Oh yeah, recharge rate isn't bad. Go for it. Yeah, nice. Good stuff. I did get an extra... Uh, an extra pip up there. But, um... But it's fine. Wait. I thought this would be open or something. I don't remember this being open before. Hmm. Let's see. I don't know where we're going. I think we're on the same level. Yeah, I don't think this was open before. Detroit Convention Center. Yeah, it definitely was not. Entertaining Detroit. With the crappiest resolution ever. Everything seems to be under control in the Convention Center. And Taggart? He's on stage now. His protection is deep. Only those with VIP passes can get by the guards. We'll just stay here and make sure none of those hooligans try to sneak in the back door. Did you sneeze? <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> that was weird. That was weird. That was weird, but it was okay. Oh, that's him. Detroit William Taggart. No better. The myth of human augmentation. Did you really name your convention? Whatever. What is it called? Speech? No better? As in N-O better? don't know. I don't know if it's good or not. It feels like it isn't. But it, it's also a pun, so you could you could think of it as a good thing or a bad thing. Let's see where these connect. Do these connect the two toilet rooms? No, they do, but it's not just that. Toilet rooms, whatever they're called. I don't know. Restrooms, that's the one. Machine pistol ammo. And Traveler. Oh! I did not see that. Hmm. Um. So. Up we go, I think. Do we? I thought it was going to be a cutscene, honestly. I heard that beat. Uh. Room 2005, invitation only. 
lot of stuff. Something went down. Did the protest get up here? Are you? Ah, hello. It is very commendable when someone like you shows interest in our work. Someone like me, huh? Smart and pretty? Is that it? You think they would actually work and not just sit there looking good? Damn, pretty good. Not just sit there looking good. Oh, the uh, the elevators, I think. That's what he's referring to. Jensen. Don't know how welcome someone like you will be in here. Watch your step. Oh, uh, don't worry about it. I'm out of time for the day, so uh, I'll have to see that in uh, in the next episode. For right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Deus Ex Human Revolution. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.